What's up everyone, today I'm going to tell you how to curate and manage your own public Spotify playlist. Let's get into it. So I'm currently working at a major music label and I realized just how important public playlists can be. If an artist makes it into a public playlist, they're just so much more likely to get more plays and that's where the worth comes in. So if you can create a playlist that a lot of people are listening to and follow, that actually has monetary value and there's even teams in labels and at Spotify that curate these playlists and are paid just to produce playlists. So let's get into this video. Tip number one is to have a certain theme to have your playlist based on. It's not gonna work to just put your favorite tracks in a playlist and call that your playlist unless you're famous. You could for example do a workout playlist, bathroom playlist, cleaning playlist, whatever. The more specific, the more likely you are to have a unique playlist that a lot of people are gonna follow. If you have your theme, a name, it's time to think of a cover to represent that playlist. And that's what a lot of people are gonna see. It's just like thumbnails on YouTube. It's uh, the first thing people see about your playlist with the name. So be sure to make something that fits the playlist and also looks professional. They have to use a square picture being at least 300 pixels wide and high. Also make sure to put in some kind of logo, maybe the Spotify logo to make it look more professional. Or if you're trying to build your own brand or already have a brand, put that in. Could be your YouTube account logo, your Instagram name or something. Tip number three is to update your playlist regularly. A lot of people start their own playlist, don't update it ever and try to see results which is not gonna happen because they're not being consistent. So either try to update it every week at the same time on the same day or every month if you're managing a lot of playlists. But consistency is key of course because you're providing a service which should be running over a long period of time and that's how you get people to follow it and not just listen to it once. Tip number four is to use backup playlists to select the tracks you're going to add to that playlist. So if you're trying to update your playlist, say you're doing it Monday morning, just like I am, you probably should have a list of pre-selected tracks in that backup playlist. And then when you update that playlist, you can just copy all of the tracks in the backup playlist and paste them into the main playlist. Or if you're trying to be very professional, you should delete your main playlist for some seconds and then paste all of the backup tracks into that playlist. And that way, it's gonna say they all have been added at the same time and you're able to put an order on it and there's no time-based order. Which, yeah, is a secret and a trick that's gonna make it look so much more professional and everyone uses. Tip number five is very advanced, but you can use the Spotify API to do calculated playlist ads. Now using the Spotify API, you can actually make calls to Spotify's database and select tracks based on certain metrics and values. So for example, you're looking for the most popular Taylor Swift track to add every time a new track comes out, or you're just checking every week for the latest, most popular Taylor Swift track. And you can set that up to automatically always add that track to that playlist. In a similar fashion, you could also look at chart tracks and select tracks which are from artists that you already like and automatically add